Hi everyone, this is Francesco here to give you a Motion 5 tutorial. This is actually the first tutorial that I ever made, so if I stutter, please forgive me. Other than that, I do have a pretty cool effect here. What I'm going to be doing is making an object, in this case a pillow, talk using a human face. So, let's grab our picture here and drag it into the timeline. You can see the picture of the pillow here. Now, we're also going to need a video. This is the video that I will be using. And I realize that I do look a little bit weird. That's because I usually wear glasses. And I took them off to use for this video. But I'll play the video so then you can get a simple idea of what we're going to be doing. Now you know how to easily make an object talk. So now why don't you try it yourself? Now you know how to easily make an object talk. So why don't you... Okay. So now, we're going to drag this video on top of our pillow picture. You can see that we have our pillow picture behind our video. We're just going to scale up our video. Now, this is one way that you can mask out your face. You can click over here on the mask button and select the circle mask. You can go like this and just draw a simple circle over your face. You can adjust the circle to show only your face and nothing else. But since most people's faces are not perfect circles, I will be using a different type of mask, and this mask is called the Bezier mask. I'm going to go around my face here using multiple dots. Now, since this will take a while to get everything perfect, I'll skip ahead a few seconds and I'll show you when I'm finished. Alright, I'm here at the last dot. To finish the Bezier mask, I'm just going to click on the first dot that I made and now you can see that that did a pretty good job of masking out my face. Now, if you're not completely satisfied with the way that you positioned your points, you can go over here and select your edit points. You can then move each one of your points to show as much of your face as you want. I'll be back in a few seconds when I'm done. That seems pretty good. If you're not completely satisfied, don't worry, you will have time to change it later. Position your video over the pillow or whatever object you're using. Now, you can see that obviously my skin color is not the same as the pillow. So select your video and go over here to the effects tab go down to color correction and select tint you can see that it immediately changes it to a brown color that's not what we want in this case so select your inspector and click on the eyedrop tool select somewhere in the pillow you can see that does a pretty good job of changing the color of my face however I'm not completely satisfied so I'm going to keep selecting over the pillow, trying to find the best spot. I'll be back in a few seconds once I'm done. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is go down here to color correction once again and select brightness. As you can see, my face is a little bit dark here, so I'm just going to want to brighten it up a tiny bit. So just pull up this lever here, or this slider, sorry and you can select how bright or how dark you want it to be. I think right about there is good. You can see the edges along my face and that doesn't look very clean. So select the Bezier mask and click on the effects tab. Go to blur, channel blur. Click on your inspector and bring up the amount to your liking. I think that looks okay. If you can see some edges, like over here, that you don't like, remember, you can always click on your Bezier mask and go back to Edit Points. Alright, I'm done editing my points. As you can see, this does look pretty good. And as I scrub through, you can see that it does look like the pillow is talking. Here is the final product after it was exported from Motion. Now you know how to easily make an object talk, so why don't you try it yourself? Feel free to leave a video response showing me what you have done with this effect. Just like the pillow said, now that you know how to do this simple effect, you should try it on your own. 
I'll see you soon in the next tutorial. Bye.